everybody! Alright, so I have a few little things to just update you guys on. First of all, I wanted a big sort of discussion thing, which is Cinderella's victim complex. In case you guys haven't really seen any movies or read the original Cinderella story, Cinderella is very much so a victim. She, um, she loses her father, her stepmother and sisters are absolutely horrible to her. She talks to mice and birds for friends, which I think today would be um, something to be concerned about and have talked to a professional for. And then finally, when the prince is looking for her, he doesn't recognize her by her face. He recognizes her by her shoes. Yeah, I mean, was he really short or did he have like a neck problem that he could only look down for. Hello, madam. Yes, all your lovely shoes. That's why I want to dance with you. Indeed. Lovely. Oh, I see a little bit of a puppy sprinkly dress as well. And don't worry, uh, let's, uh, let us dance. I will make sure that your feet movements are perfect and please, if you will, ensure that we don't run into a wall. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just imagining that going on right now. Anyways, as a result, my Cinderella and my story so far has been going through that victim complex. She's been crying so much and it's honestly, it's not fun to write anymore. I mean, she could probably fill up a lake or an ocean with the amount of tears she's cried. But then it's either that for me or I tend to write that or the savior complex where it's like, I can levitate myself with my bravery and kick your butt, so haha. -ha. It's hard to find an in-between, and not only is a victim complex not the funnest thing to write, because there's only so many ways you can write somebody with tears down their face, like, okay, water droplets, a river, a waterfall, uh, tears, uh, yeah, but it's also not fun to read. I mean, that's a really wimpy character, as my professor so delicately put it, but it's true. We don't really want to read a character like that. We want to see growth, which is what I'm trying to focus on now, because right now in the scene that I'm writing, she's about to go and confront something and do something, and she's kind of like, is this a stupid idea? Probably, but let's do it! Ah! <laughs> She's not gonna cry. Not in a bajillion more years. <laughs> Promised myself that. Today I've also got a special guest planned for you guys. Let me go grab him. This is Felix. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> one thing, he's my cat and he's one of the loves of my life. So big and fluffy. He's so much fun to cuddle. One of the reasons why I brought him in here is because I've been considering naming my prince Felix. Because thus far I've been calling him the prince. I can't think of a good name for him. So, because, you know, he's like the prince in my life. Hey! Okay, well, he's... You're more like the king, aren't you? Yes, you're so majestic. I love you. So, yeah. See, yeah, that's about it. So, say goodbye. Bye-bye. He'll probably make an appearance in future videos, so don't worry. He'll be coming back. <laughs> Ugh. That's what I get for uh, having a fluffy cat that I love to kiss. One last update for you guys. I have officially gone to the halfway point in the workout. I am so happy about that! I have surpassed 10,000 words now, finally! Which, and considering it's only October 1st at this moment, that means that I have a very good amount of time to write the rest and to give myself time to edit, considering the final isn't due until December 7th. Try to write every day, don't become lazy and stop because that's how I stopped. Yeah, what I'm really excited to do soon is starting the editing process. I have the first installment that I have to hand in to my professor. I have a lot of editing to do. It's 20 pages. I haven't looked at it since I read it. Or oh, I wrote it. So. 
that's going to be really fun. Yeah. But either way, I'm excited because I finally get to really start establishing what I want to really look like. I've, I've gotten it down and now I'm working on it. Mold it. <laughs> Why am I evil? Well, writers do tend to kill off characters and put them in horrible situations, but it's for their growth! I'm not evil. I swear it. Right? I have a cat who can vouch for me. Right? He's ignoring me. So that's about all that I have to update you guys on. If you have any comments or anything you want to discuss or ask, include it in the comment section below. It's always really helpful and fun to see something like that. I've yet to see it, but I'm going to be super excited when I do. <laughs> Other than that, all I can say is... Keep writing. Click on me. Click on me to subscribe. Thank you. You're such a helpful, supportive cat.